we have a simple function here add that takes x and y and returns x plus y and we are using it here and the result is being printed if i run this as expected 8 is printed now this is a very simple function and we do not need to use these uh, complex syntax and functions for this so we can just use lambda functions so how can we do that now we have converted that to lambda functions now if i run this again as you can see the output is the same so how does it work now as you can see here from the comment we first write a function name that is add that we can use later and then we write lambda lambda and then we write the parameters that this lambda function will take that is x and y or arguments and then we write a one line argument of what we are doing and this is the return so now we can just use add 3 comma 5 and the result is printed so this is a simple lambda function now let's make a bit more complex lambda function or uh, some a bit of a real case scenario so one of the most common things where this is used is in functions like filter map and so on so let's take an example so i have a list of numbers here now what if i want to divide these numbers by their remainders when they are divided by 2 so we can simply do that by numbers.sort and in the key we pass a lambda function instead of making a whole new function for this what we can do is we can create a lambda function with where key equals to lambda it takes x that is it takes this here and then it takes it returns x modulus 2 that is it remains it remain it returns the remainder of 3 divided by 2 and so on and now if i run this as you can see the numbers are printed in the order of it being divided by 2 and their remainder so if we divide 4 by 2 it's 0 so it's first if we divide 2 by 2 remainder again it's 0 and the remainder is 0 and the remainder is 1 here 1 here again and the remainder is 1 here again so this is how you can use lambda functions if you have any questions let me know in the comments below